You're watching Telecom TV from the Etsy 5G Network Infrastructure Summit. And I'm joined now by Kayla Loeffler, who is Director of Marketing and Industry Alliances at NetRounds. Kayla, welcome to Telecom TV. What is NetRounds doing regards 5G activities? So at NetRounds, we do automated testing and active monitoring. And in this case, we can do that in an automated fashion for 5G network slices. Uh, so we've been working on a POC together with our partners Telenor, Rift.io, um, Arctos Labs, and Intel, um, as well as Open Source Mono, to kind of prove that this programmable testing and monitoring can happen in a completely automated fashion. Tell me more about the proof of concept. Was it a one-off POC or is it a multi-phase project? Sure, uh, it's more of a multi-phase. We've completed step one, or phase one rather, um, in Time for Mobile World Congress, and we showed that uh, in Rift.io's booth, actually. Phase two of the POC will be largely around different use cases and how our service provider sponsor wants to implement the POC for ideally deployment and future use in their own network. Um, and we'll begin to um, include more components into the network slices and make them a bit more applicable to what Telenor wants to do. So Telenor is the operator partner of the POC. What about Rift.io? So Rift.io is the orchestrator, um, and they kind of took part with Open Source Mono. They're a large contributor to Open Source Mono, Rift.io is, um, but Open Source Mono is just on release one, release two is coming, but it's not quite ready for deployment yet. So we use some of the Rift's components, some of the Open Source Mono components for the orchestration in the POC. With so much focus on network slicing, how does an operator actually go about this and deliver a trusted and valuable service? Sure, so I think uh, with 5G, operators will be selling KPIs essentially to their customers. They'll be flexibly deploying network slices based on the requirements of their customers and the use cases that the customers need these network slices for. Um, but how can you assure that you're meeting those SLAs and you're actually delivering the quality that your customers require um, for these network slices? Uh, so what we've proposed and which we've been proving in the POC is to include uh, active testing and monitoring as a template as part of the no network service descriptor so it's going to be completely programmatically driven and orchestrated in a completely automated fashion. So when you're making these small changes and updates to the service, you can automatically deploy um, test agents for activation testing again, and it's kind of that DevOps methodology of working and continuous assurance of this network slice and service. Kayla, thank you very much indeed.